So just back from doing several massages. Um, my God, is it a bit wild out there? Um, I'm surprised to see so many people out and about, to be honest. And yet again, you, you peeps seem to mess your bodies up in amazing ways. Anyway, Charlie Beach, Big Charlie. There was a bit of a texty conversation with him earlier on, and he said, Kai, man, you actually wrestle with God. And like, you know what, it's true, I do wrestle with the divine being. Why do I wrestle with the divine being? Because I struggle to accept that People suffer so much and face so much pain. Everything from being taken advantage of, to being abused, to being mentally tortured, to illness, to not being paid correctly for their skill set, to having to sacrifice themselves for the betterment of others who would never sacrifice themselves for them. Do you understand? I struggled to understand how such a divine being would allow the death of so many innocents in wars. I struggled to struggle with that. I struggled to understand how the divine being allows poverty and ignorance and selfishness I struggle to understand why the divine being seems to make the innocent suffer more than the negative ones, than the bad people, where I observe, like, if you're a bad person, you seem to prosper, whether that's in business or anything else, you know. If you're a deviant and a wicked person, you seem to have the best lifestyle. If you're a cheater and a robber and a scammer, life is good for you. Yet if you're a kind of pious person, an honest person, and you, you follow your scriptures, whatever they are, life is hard for you. That's not right. So yeah, I wrestle with the divine being, God or whatever you wish to call him, I don't care. Regularly because I can't accept why so many people are under so much suffering and so much agony when it would be easy for that said being to just make that stop. I can't accept that such a divine being would allow so much poverty, heartache, pain, war, degradation. I can't accept that. I can't, it just doesn't sit right in my mind. So yeah, I wrestle with the, with the divine being on a regular occasion because I need to understand why. Why was I put through so much mental torture and so much physical torture and abuse that led me on the path of violence that at the same time I was so giving and understanding and yet I, I lost the the empathy the and all the emotions all that went and I lost my faith in in God I lost it it went it lost it's gone and it's gone because So many people around me have died, have suffered. So many people around me have had to fight battles that they didn't need to fight because the truth and the reality is there were people there that could help them. Now, the essence of humanity or the essence of divinity is to help your fellow man. And yet I see it daily where People just step over people. 
and they don't want to help and they don't want to give. And an act of kindness now is almost like a miracle. How shameful is that? It's really shameful, right? So an act of kindness now is almost like a miracle. And people have to put it on social media and people put their acts of kindness on social media. Look, I'm feeding the homeless guy. Look, I'm doing this. Look, I'm doing that. No, that's not an act of kindness. That's an act of ego worship. You're rubbing yourself up. You're polishing yourself. Don't do that. I struggle to understand why there's so much desperation, so much hunger, so much hatred, and yet this divine being can stop it with one click. And the theological side of that and the debates of the, the theologians on that are immense, are immense, and they will always boil down to the fact of you need to be stronger in your faith, you need to pray more, you need to do that, you need to do this. Absolute bullshit. If you have the capacity and the means to help your fellow human being and you don't do that, then you better question your faith and your religion. So yes, I, I wrestle with God every single day. I wrestle with divinity every single day because I can't allow this. Um, I carry so many burdens upon myself and I, I carry so much pain and suffering, but I'm persistently trying to help other people and I struggle because people go, oh, you need to talk, you need to get it out and you need to talk. You have no comprehension of what it is because when I do start to talk, you won't understand because it's not just me that's talking. It's the pain, it's the suffering, it's the trauma, it's the abuse, it's the agony, it's the witnessing of what I've seen around me, it's the witnessing of what I've gone through myself, it's the reality of refusing to accept that this is what divinity is allowing to happen. I refuse to accept that. And then, then, then people go, oh, it's just, the, you know, the devil. No, man. Did you know the devil knows when to let a soul go? It knows. The devil knows. Whatever you want to call it, the negativity, the vibration, it knows when to let you go. It knows when the war is over. It knows when to uh, surrender this and give this up. But the reality of, of your average human, they don't. People will bleed you dry. People will drain you of everything you have. So they themselves are okay. This is not humanity. This is not divinity. This is not any part of religion. I've seen re so-called super religious people blatantly take advantage of the most poor of their congregation and bleed them dry. Just pray, just do this, just do that. What? I watched the preachers on Market Street giving out money to the homeless, right? And his entourage are filming that. Wow. So people can go, wow, look at that guy. He's so, so kind, so compassionate. You know, his religion, he's, he follows it to the book. Look at him giving, giving as he should be giving. No. No. Just basically no. In the nicest way. So yes, I have regular tap out sessions with the big man from upstairs or the divine being from upstairs because we do not know if it's male or female because in the original of the scriptures it says neither male or female it is an energy and I ask that energy daily why do you allow people to be abused why do you allow unnecessary suffering why have you allowed countries to go to war and destroy other nations for no reason why why you know, and the other part of me really, really believes that every single nation, regardless of what your religion is or your belief, that if you go to war and you convince those men that God is behind them, you are beyond stupid. Because I can't accept that a, a divine entity would support any form of slaughter in its name. Ever. I can't accept it. 
So yeah, I'm wrestling every day. I'm not only fighting my own demons, man. I'm squaring off with a big man because I need to understand why you are allowing this to happen. And like I said, everyone will comment, oh, you know, this and that, your faith, this and that, believe in that, believe in this. Absolute bullshit. Bullshit. You don't find God in the church, mate. You will not find him in the mosque or the synagogue or the Hindu temple or the Buddhist temple. You're not going to find him. I believe he's gone on a very, very long sabbatical because he's had enough of what humanity is. He has turned his back. I believe that divine being has turned his back because he cannot accept what he's seeing. They fail to understand the word, if you like, of not just the Abrahamic religions. Guys, you are very, very young in the reality of life. Okay, very young. Judaism, Christianity, Islam, you are very young. There are faiths out there that go back millennia, literally. And they're still there and they're still doing their thing. No one religion doesn't have blood on its hands. That's the truth. Not one religion doesn't have blood on its hands. Why? Why? They sent men to war to destroy other people in the name of their God. And yet, the reality of the situation is that everyone's going to go up to the, the pearly gates or to paradise and go, I've done everything that you asked of me. What the, the priest told me, what the monk told me, what the imams told me, I've done everything that you asked of me. They said, this is what you wanted. And then the echoing, booming voice, or whatever voice, or whatever way, will come and, and present itself to those people and go, I ask none of those things. I ask you to be a good person. I ask you to help your fellow human beings. I ask you to share your wealth if you could. I ask you to help if you could. I ask you to have compassion if you could. I ask you to have unconditional love if you could. But you failed to hear me because I was the homeless person. I was the person that stepped up to you and just needed to talk. I was the person you walked past in the street, you just asked for the time. I was the person who needed picking up. I was the person who was hungry when you had food and you told me just pray. I was the person who stood out the mosque, the church, the temple. I said, brother, can you help me? And you said, have faith. I was those people, but you neglected to see me. Peace and blessings on you all. Strength and honour. Stay safe. When the downer comes and it goes to engulf you, you're not on your own. If you need to face those demons, I'll fight them with you. Strength and honour.